Sometimes I walk down the street and my body is a chapel. The men who think they have holy water for saliva spit blessings my way. I guess I dress like a sin today. I guess I help someone break a commandment or ten by being a woman with a body of water most men are not Moses enough for. Sometimes I walk down the street and the men, they call me beautiful. And depending on their tone, this either makes me feel like art or a cheap exhibit. I've learned that when a woman's body is a dialect that a man cannot speak, how quick his hands become sign language, how quick my skirt becomes signal for touch me. Sometimes I walk down the street and I am a three ring circus. The men, they think me lying in a cage, underestimate the sharp in my teeth. I say I am big and ferocious. They say you are big and insecure. They say watch your mouth, fat girl. They say fat girl like, like it's an insult. Like, like I've never drowned men in between these thighs. Like, like they mad they don't know how to swim. Like, like they didn't know that the elephant is the main attraction at the circus for the way its body resembles cement and feathers simultaneously. I be floating. I be sky and concrete. I be a woman that looks like heaven, but tastes like a broken sidewalk. So I get why they be tripping, why I be hoe, why I be bitch, why I be fat. Cause I be anything but theirs. So the next time I walk down the street like a chapel, you make sure you see God in this world. You keep your hands clasped like a prayer that I'm never gonna answer. Confess your sins to your mother. The first deity you ever blasphemed against. See if she forgives you. See if she has more room in her uterus for you than I do. You could never be born again in between these thighs or be baptized in this wet. The next time I walk down the street like a piece of art, you make sure you see a museum in this woman. I am a collection of body parts that your tongue will never curate the next time. I walk down the street like a three-ring circus. You make sure you are more freak show than cannonball. So I've always respected a man who can swallow his pride like a sword than one that shoots off at the mouth and always misses.